Well, a pair of new reports just out looking into America's ever-expanding waste lines. According to one study funded by the Centers for Disease Control, more than a third of American adults are considered obese today. And that number is expected to go up to 42% by 2030. But a massive new report out today from the powerful Institute of Medicine panel says you cannot blame it all on a lack of individual willpower. In fact, quite the contrary. They argue our healthy options are way too limited. So the government potentially needs to step in and help in the form of new taxes and regulations and even potentially by offering incentives to build more sidewalks so we can walk more. Is more government really the answer here? Joining me now, Leslie Marshall, a syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor. Lars Larson, a syndicated radio host with Compass Media Networks as well. You know, I, I, I have to start by saying, Leslie, I would, I would love to mock this report just in good fun because it's not your fault. <laughs> it's, it's the government's fault for not building more, more sidewalks. But they talk about the unavailability of healthy food in so many places and just anecdotally haven't we all seen that? I mean, you go into, you know, one of those stores, you're just going to grab a sandwich. That's all there is. Where are the fruits? Where are the vegetables? You have to work very hard in this country to find healthy options sometimes. Oh, no, no question. I, I have said it. I know I'm going to get people angry, but sorry. You know, when I travel to Europe, I can always spot an American. They're fat, they're dressed poorly and they're drinking Coca-Cola. Sorry, but you know, th this is uh, this is definitely part of our environment. We drink soda. That is a lot of sugar. Why is it in America our Big Mac is three times the calories than in Copenhagen, Denmark. It's not just portion size. And by the way, it's not just high, fruct high fructose corn syrup. It really is about our lack of choices. And, and why is it that people in France eat cheese and bread and in Italy, they eat pasta till the cows come home, they're healthier and they're thinner. They have those sidewalks and parks and trails to walk and to be healthy, and they have those healthier food options. They drink water, not soda. And this is something I do believe that perhaps if the government can do a better job, then oh bring them in, because we're doing a very poor job. Lars, they do point out in this report, they point out in this <laughs> report, look, yes, we need to eat less and move more, but they say when oh. you see an increase in obesity that, that's so dramatic over the past 30, 40 years, they say right. what changed? That people, you know, their, their biological uh, existence didn't change. The environment changed. Well, Megan, you can tell I came here to Washington, D.C. because I was hoping that Michelle Obama and the nanny staters could tell me how to lose weight. And I didn't realize that just writing more checks to government for taxes was going to help me lose weight. But I'm going to take issue with your premise. Your premise is that people walk into stores and don't find the things they want. I have news for you. In a market system, people sell what the customer buys. That's what stores are doing. They're buying and the wrong things. Well, exact, well, you can say that, but if you, do you want the government saying, we're going to prescribe for you what you're allowed to eat? That famous question about, can we really tell Americans they have to eat broccoli? No. Uh, the government should not be telling people what to eat. Now, I don't think Americans mind some information to say, by the way, that latte you're drinking every day has so many calories in it. Be aware of it. But do you really want a government where it tries to force people to eat the right things? And do you really believe this absurd nonsense that the lack of sidewalks keeps people from walking? Mm -hmm. I'm overweight. I mean, can if we I need to walk, you can don't we need dismiss it all, Leslie? Because according to this report, obesity is responsible for an additional $190 billion a year in health care costs, one fifth of all health care spending. And, and taxpayers wind up subsidizing that to some extent. Megan, I'm so glad you brought that up because I know Lars will truly listen to us now, the females here speaking, huh. okay? <laughs> Lars, we're talking money. We're talking cuts. We're talking saving money, saving money with health care. Maybe there wouldn't have been the need for the Affordable Care Act, which you love to call Obamacare, Megan. if we could come back. He calls back. it that now, too. Oh, oh, if we could come I back, have an answer. the president also refers no, to it but, as that. But he does. And I have, I have an answer for you. By the way, it is market-based. Leslie won't like it. But here's the answer. If you want to get people to lose weight, scrap Obamacare, let people buy from the private industry, and let the health insurance industry sell the way the car insurance industry does. If I go out and buy a red Corvette, they're going to charge me more. If I buy a, a sensible sedan, they charge me less. If my employer came to me but tomorrow Lars, and said, okay, listen... okay, I, I see your no, point. I see your but, point. But, but let me shift you, you on to another point. One of the things yeah. they raise in this study is the children and how... Oh, 
obese mm. our children are getting. Now, don't you mm -hmm. care? Now, now a lot of our viewers, well-educated, think about nutrition, try to provide healthy mm -hmm. options for their kids. Unfortunately, that is not true of millions of American parents who are funneling their kids high fat, saturated fat, cholesterol right. ridden choices day and night. And would it hurt to put a little pressure on the fast food industry and other industries to just make the majority of, of options out there healthy? Megan, a little pressure won't do it. And you and I both know that. If you look at this situation mm. and say, if we just suggest to people better choices, if they currently enjoy eating fatty food, and we know that's why people like eating fatty food. Well, we it can't help this generation. It. It's the next generation we're working on. But Go ahead, even Lars. in the next generation, it, it, you're going to have to take draconian measures to basically specify to people, you want to have uh, the Obama or whatever administration follows it, hand out ration cards or ration cards and say, you are only allowed no. to feed your children so many calories or buy that's not going to happen all right i gotta run but it's an interesting debate you know uh <laughs> i don't know what's going to happen but this is a big big recommendation to a very powerful group so we will see mm. thank you very much thanks megan see you soon panel